Yeah, so the, the Facebook project, I feel, is there's great data out there for the industry to, to learn from. Um, whether it's all relevant, I think it's each person's situation will be different. Uh, the way Facebook is designing their data centers, at the level of uh, availability that they design them to, um, may not be for every enterprise application out there. There's probably a very small percentage of industry out there that, are, that can actually replicate or copy like they do today. Um, and the other area is, you know, if they are, if Facebook tends to, like any IPDC, they'll over-provision their data centers, so, so they'll be running 10, 20% more servers than they need to, so if they have any failures, they could easily roll over their applications to new areas. Enterprise data centers don't have that flexibility as, as they typically would, so therefore they would probably need to be a little more cognizant of the availability of their environment. So, I think overall, I, I like the idea of sharing your design data. I think there's some good learnings there to understand from a facilities perspective. But I think the design probably varies, you know, who can use it or not, depending on your personal enterprise type applications. I, I think it's a, it's a very smart move on Facebook's, Facebook's part. Um, the way I view Facebook, is a, is a very heavy consumer focused um, space that's a platform. Uh, you look at their offering, it is, it's platform as a service. So for Facebook to be able to release some uh, design docs like that and have a, a bigger set of eyes looking at their designs um, is only gonna make their product better. The first thing I'd like to do is certainly is to congratulate Facebook for being open uh, about their compute platform and, and what they're doing in the industry. This isn't the first time that they've done it. Uh, and it's really, really good to see a company like this basically tell the world that the platform that they're running and the way that they run it does not necessarily give them a competitive edge. It's their product that gives them a competitive edge. So they're actually helping the industry and boosting the industry along, especially in the cloud computing arena, by showing us and you know, showing the world what is going on with their open compute platform. Let me commend uh, Facebook first for doing this and taking the step, a big step, towards this in releasing the specification of their machines, servers, uh, power units. I think that's very useful from hardware perspective. Uh, in our work in a Blue Tool project at Impact Lab at Arizona State University, we have found that there are two things, cyber things and physical things. So physical things, obviously, you need to characterize them, you need them. But the cyber thing is basically what is your workload, right? What is your workload distribution? Unless you know that, and unless you l match it with your what your hardware is, you don't get the best performance, right? And so the management schemes they have not released, and uh, it would be nice to tell something about how their data center is managed. I think that is uh, very important from the viewpoint of determining how efficient the data center is from various um, various uh, scenarios. And so it would be nice that as uh, uh, we move along, they could release some anonymized uh, data sets, uh, uh, profiles of, uh, thermal profiles of their systems, um, the what kind of energy uh, um, consumption they show over time. All these things are important to get to the point where we run the data centers more energy efficiently, we are able to exploit renewable sources of energy, we are able to reduce the carbon footprint of uh, data centers and make them greener. So uh, I think this is a very good first step. Uh, obviously we will uh, take those profiles and put it in our blue tool systems and uh, we will have to then use some uh, synthetic uh, workload profiles to evaluate efficiencies of uh, data centers at uh, uh, Facebook scale, uh, but it would have been nice if we could get some actual traces uh, which reflect how uh, Facebook or data center is uh, uh, tasked from uh, various uh, applications. that it looks like uh, 
Facebook is able to achieve a PUE of 107, which uh, is almost as ideal as you can get in the data center uh, use, power usage efficiency. So, you know, assuming that that's correct and that if they open source that to the rest of the world, I think it would be a great benefit. Um, and there's a lot of other companies that have already done a lot of research in that realm and have achieved, uh, you know, PUEs below two, which is pretty much what's being what, what's realistically asked for in today's uh, co-location markets and data center market. So, um, you know, I know that some of these other providers didn't lift their skirts, so to speak, to, to show everybody how it's being done. Um, so I, I think it's terrific if everybody is able to, to use their specifications and not have to reinvent the wheel every time.